So we're going to have a look at completing the square when the coefficient of x squared is not 1. So when this number isn't 1. We want to try and get our quadratic equation so that it is. So basically, whatever this number is, we are going to divide through and take out a factor of 2 in this case. So divide that by 2 gives me x squared. Divide that by 2 gives me minus 4x. Divide that by 2 gives me 7 over 2. Okay, now I've got it where coefficient of x squared is 1. I'm going to complete the square just as I always would. Divide minus 4 by 2. Take that bit away, minus 2 squared, and then I've got that. Now, notice I'm using square brackets to distinguish between these curvy brackets here. Right, now I'm going to tidy up that inside bit, still keeping my big square brackets until I've sorted this bit out. Okay, so I've got minus 8 plus 7 all over 2 which will give me minus a half. Right, quite a lot of lines are working there. Um, just doing it step by step. Right, now, at this point, I am ready to bring my 2 back in so and get rid of my square bracket. So, whoops, I want black. So I have got two lots of this, and I have got that times that, and then two lots of that, which will give me minus one. Just fill in my equal zeros that I've left out. Okay, now to solve this, just like before, I'm going to take this minus one over to give me one. Then I'm going to divide through by this 2, which will give me a half. Right, I'm just going to squeeze that up there a bit. And then, so I've got x minus 2 squared. We'll take this, that over the other side. So then I've got the root of a half, positive or negative. So I've got x equals 2 plus or minus root 1 over 2. Now I can tidy that up a little bit by um, saying, okay, I've got 2 plus or minus 1 over root 2. Ideally, I've got um, a root on the bottom. I should really rationalise the denominator. So if I times that by root 2 and that by root 2, I get x is 2 plus or minus root 2 over 2. And they are my solutions. OK, now if you could have a go on this one. 5x squared plus 8x minus 2 equals 0. Have a go at completing the square and solving that quadratic. Pause the video and I'll go over it uh, straight away when you unpause it. OK, so first of all we're going to start by taking out a factor of 5. So dividing each coefficient by 5. Then we complete the square on the bit in the curve brackets. We put in some square brackets because the first bit is going to be, now notice this term here I have to divide by 2 and that's going to become 8 over 10. Watch out for that bit. And then obviously I need to take that away and square it 
and then I've got the minus two fifths. Okay, so tidying up inside these square brackets. Just going to sort out this fraction bit here. I've got minus 64 over 100 minus 2 fifths. Let's get that with a common denominator of 100 minus 64 over 100. Uh, and that will 5 into 100 goes 20 minus 40 over 100. So, right, let's just uh, squeeze that up a bit. So now I've got five outside. I just still want my square bracket. Eight over ten squared minus a hundred and four over a hundred square brackets. Now I'm ready to times this 5 by this bit and then by this bit. So I get 5 and get rid I'm going to get rid of those square brackets. I've got that and then I've got 5 times this 5 times 104 over 100 that cancels there and gives me 20 104 over 20. Um, I'm going to move up here. 5x plus 8 over 10 squared minus 104 over 20. And I'm going to divide through this bit by 4. That will give me 5. That will give me 26. And that's all equal to 0. I've forgotten to put that in there. Okay. So I've got five lots of this, all squared. Right, and I take my minus 26 over 5 over to the other side. I've got 26 over 5. Then I'm going to get rid of this so that I've got x plus 8 over 10 squared. I'm going to divide through by 5, which is going to give me 26 over 25. Then I'm going to get rid of the square uh, of squared by taking the square root of the other side so I've got root 26 over 5 and then find oh positive and negative of those square roots and then x is minus 8 over 10 which simplifies to minus 4 fifths plus or minus root 26 over 5 now I hope you got the same there if you didn't Check your working with uh, all the different lines I've got here.